This is the remains of a device detonated on a packed tube train at 8.20 this morning. The fifth terrorist attack in the UK this year targeted the morning commute, the school run. People describe to us a flash of fire suddenly running up the walls of the carriage, burning those nearby. Then the panic. People like this young photographer. Clothes just, you know, just burnt completely away. Are you okay? How are you feeling? I'm very, very shocked and I'm, um, yeah. It's just uh, that moment when people are running towards me and pushing you out of the way and you're unsure of what's happening. You're then, you're, you don't know whether to fight or run and, and it was that, that sort of 10 seconds of sheer panic and the whole train went through it and it was just like a tidal wave. No, it's a terrible thing. It just keeps going and going and we have to be very smart, we have to be very, very tough, which perhaps we're not nearly tough enough. but. That is just an absolutely terrible thing. In fact, I'm going to call the Prime Minister right now. Prime Minister, what came out of your meeting today and how can you reassure Londoners about their safety on public transport? Yes, I've chaired a meeting of COBRA following this cowardly terrorist attack that took place on the London Underground at Parsons Green. Clearly, this was a device that was intended to cause significant harm and 22 people have been injured and are being treated in hospital. And our thoughts are with all those who've been affected by this attack. The emergency services were on the scene immediately. And once again, I'd like to thank them for their professionalism and for their bravery. And the police and security services are obviously doing all the work to discover the full circumstances of this cowardly attack and to identify those responsible. And I would urge any members of the public who have any information or footage about what happened this morning to pass it to the police urgently. The threat level remains at severe. That means that a terrorist attack is highly likely, but this will be kept under review as the investigation progresses. And the public should go about their daily lives, but remain vigilant and people who are traveling in London will see an increased armed police presence on the transport network and they will see security will be increased and the police will of course do what is necessary to protect the public. The threat of terrorism that we face is severe but together by working together we will defeat them. Prime Minister, you said following the London Bridge attack just a few months ago that enough is enough and that we've been too tolerant of extremism. Is that still your view and how do you intend to tackle this threat? Yes, we do need to uh, ensure that we're dealing with not just the terrorist threat but with the, terror the extremism and the hate that can actually incite that terrorism. Uh, that's why we're looking very carefully at the powers that our police and security services have to make sure they have the powers they need. But it's also why we're working with the internet companies. The Home Secretary has visited Silicon Valley, spoken with the internet companies, and next week at UNGA I'll be chairing uh, a session, co-hosting it with uh, President Macron from France uh, to talk about what more we can be doing to ensure that we deal with the terrorist propaganda, with the extremist propaganda, with the hatred that is put out across the internet. Prime Minister, Donald Trump has intervened to say that this was carried out by people who Scotland Yard had in its sights. Does he know something we don't? I never think it's helpful for anybody to speculate on what is an ongoing investigation. As I've just said, the police and security services are working to discover the full circumstances of this cowardly attack and to identify all those responsible. And just finally, Sadiq Khan was at your meeting. He said that London needs more police, more police stations, more resources. Uh, will they get it? We are very clear we have protected police budgets, we also protected counter-terrorism policing and we have ensured that it is possible for the police to increase the number of armed police and I'm pleased to say that once again the emergency services, the police and others responded immediately to this attack and were on the scene immediately and we thank them for their professionalism and bravery. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.
Can you smell that? What is that? Sheep, is it? It's cows. No, no, I know what it is. It's bullshit. Consumer life, it's supply and demand, and the spending's